a What's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, Miss Slothrop, thank you so much for four months. Um, thank you for welcoming me, welcoming me back. I appreciate it. Uh, hi, guys. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy pre-Thanksgiving day for those that celebrate. <laughs> um, Lucian Blaze, thank you so much for the T1 sub. Really, really appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up? Why is my activity feed acting up? That's weird. There we go. Now we've got the good activity feed. Uh, hey, guys. So, uh, oh my god. There's a lot of things happening. Uh, just give me one second. I'm repositioning some stuff. Okay, Scott. Uh, and I need to set the filter on this. Okay. A lot of subs just happened. Um... Grandpa's Beans. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome aboard. Izzy the MILF, thank you so much for resubscribing for five months. Really, really appreciate it. Blue Moon Child, thank you so much for the Prime sub. And Kira Trickster 2000, thank you so much for four months of Prime. Can't wait for more Sumeru stuff. Uh, true. And uh, Izzy the MILF th says, thanks for all the laughs, Ben. Um, okay. So, a couple of small announcements for you guys. I've been working on... Yasumi Rose, thank you so much for <laughs> the Prime sub, Yasumi. Favorite Tantalus member is blank. Um, he's the coolest. Um, first off, if you scroll below my stream, you'll see that I have some new uh, Better TTV emotes available. Um, and Frank or Z emotes, depending on what your persuasion is. Um... I just went through and added a bunch more, and now I have them on display. So if you're using Better TTV or Frank or Faze Z, you've got access to some fun emotes, uh, like Joler, which I think is great. Um, Monkey is also really good. Um, and I added True because I use I say True a lot, so I figured I'd have the emote for it. Um, I'm also. My Instagram is Benby Voicing, but I don't really use it. It's kind of empty. Um, have I eaten before my stream? I'm going to eat after stream. I'm not really that hungry. Uh, I'm seeing people already using the good stuff. Yeah, I've got my water on me. Do I have any plans for Thanksgiving? I got invited to a Friendsgiving. Uh, cheers shouldn't be broken. I saw... Uh, oh, I saw that... Uh, Kita... Kita Shinsuke cheered 80 bitties. And then Greeny... Greeny Gay did 40 bitties. Hey, Ben, can you wish me a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Greeny. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I'm going to be bringing all the drinks for Friendsgiving. Mostly just cider. What are my friends giving me? Um, their companionship. How do I feel about Farina? She's alright, I guess. Please come. There we go. Yeah, they're, they're showing up just fine. Um, favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. Is the Genshin VA cast having a Friendsgiving? Probably. I'm not spending it with them. <laughs> if that's what you meant. I'm doing it with other friends. Anyway, um... What, are, what else did I have to announce? Um... There's gonna be... I'm working on the Discord. I just happened to... I got the Discord, uh... 
announcement bot working for streams, so now it'll announce whenever I'm live. Uh, I just need to figure out some, like, a welcome channel that people have to, like, react to to, to get into the server, and I think it'll be good to go. So there'll be a Discord for everybody. Discord? Uh, clean, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Appreciate it. Um, so, I, I still don't know, like, what fun stuff people want in the Discord, but I guess once it's live, you guys can suggest what else you want in it. I don't know. But I've already got channels for like the, the necessities, like a general chat, a video games chat, a Genshin chat, and all that stuff. Oh, you heard Zahakton? Oh, right on. He was a lot of fun to do. Oh, thank you, Sir Dino. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, what would Kave say if someone ex kissed his cheek? He would explode instantly. It'd be like a violent explosion. It wouldn't be the funny type. What is your message to my dogs? Who's a good boy? Or good girl. Do I have any pets? Uh, my roommate does. They have three cats, so and I hang out with them every now and again. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start booting up Genshin so we can get started. I'm not gonna say their names because I don't want to like in uh, in the event that I out my roommate. Yeah, I've got a roommate. I've got two roommates. Although one of them is usually not present for most of the time. I feel like he's already mentioned that we're roommates. So you guys can probably... You guys probably know. Um, there's there's one con that I've been... Yeah, Yasumi, he, he has mentioned it before. That I'm like Alejandro's half-roommate. Or, excuse me, Sayus. Uh, as for cons coming up, I've only got the New York one happening in January so far. Um, don't know... Everything else, I don't know what's... Like, please stand by for any other news. Half roommate because he's only in LA like half the time. <laughs> Prin VT, thank you so much for the four months. Hope you've been well, Ben. Thank you. I hope you've been well. Oh, you hear the music. Ben, how do you feel about chocolate croissant? Um, they're pretty good. Pretty tasty. Yeah, I put that WoW Genshin emote specifically for you guys. Thoughts on people eating fried chicken on Thanksgiving? I don't want to yuck anybody's yum. You can eat whatever you want on Thanksgiving if it makes you happy. No, Ryuji isn't here. I think Ryuji's, Ryuji's in Texas. Yes, I have seen writing on the wall. Thoughts on Mariah Carey defrosting? Soon. It's verifying the file integrity, guys. Uh... She's already... Def yeah, I know, like... If, if, um... If stores start playing Mariah Carey... 
before uh, Thanksgiving, th that's a, a shit show. That's clowns. They started in October? Not even, not even, bef not even after Halloween? Ben, can you say happy early birthday to me? Happy early birthday. I hope your Friday is a good day. Opinions on dark chocolate? It's okay. I prefer milk chocolate. Am I a fan of D&D? &D? As a matter of fact, I am. I'm a big fan of D&D. &D. Uh, so much so that... Um, how would you guys react if I joined one of those D&D &D streams? Like I played a character on a D&D &D stream with other cool people that you might like. Not cr not critical. Let's not get it twisted, guys. It's not critical role. Like I'm. Do you really think I'm cool enough for critical role? No. Let's 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 not get carried away. Um. But it is something of that vein. I I won't say any more, but I will say that uh, like, once uh, once it gets announced, I'm gonna talk about it, and uh, I think everybody's gonna enjoy it. Would it be with Hayden? I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, anyway. Uh, there it is. In we go! Are you familiar with Mori Kitchen on YouTube? <laughs> Thank you for the uh, the Hotel Mario. Uh, Zhongli is Zhongli's mighty pillar. Cheered 100 bits. Benby playing Genshin. Yippee. Uh, and Diane the Goddess, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Um... There is one game that I... Okay, there's two games I really want to play on stream for you guys. Um, the first one is one that as soon as I started playing it... <laughs> Paimon's in a really great mood today. I don't know why, but Paimon's head is filled with happy thoughts. Why don't we make the most of it? Let's take a walk around Fontaine and maybe buy some souvenirs and grab a tasty snack. Shut the heck up, Paimon. Um, oh my god, so many sub, uh, subs coming in. Uh, Jax... Jaxa9! Thank you so much. Oh my god, I didn't mean to start the... Actually, you know what? Take it easy, bust it. Let's go ahead and Rain just do this. Outlines your fate. Come at me. While I'm here. Uh, my cooldown. Mind the side effect. I really need to get better energy recharge. That's like my one of my biggest issues with this team so far. I'm doing something. Oh well, I at least I have Kaveh's up. See, once once everything's up, it just d decimates. But I just need more ER. Oh my God, so many people subbing! Uh, just give me one second. Madeline, thank you so much for the prime sub. Simply simple tortoise, thank you so much for subbing. Please Welcome come. aboard. Wooney, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome aboard. Britain's Exports, thank you so much for your prime sub. Abba Banana, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. Totes McGoats, welcome back for five months. I am having a good day. Angel Midnight, thank you so much for 100 biddies. Kiba, thank you so much for 10 biddies. Rat Girl, thank you so much for 100 biddies. And Peachy XP, thank you so much for the prime sub. Yes, I am going to max out Kaveh. Do I always play alone? I prefer to. 
I have I have thought about having like community nights. Uh, but maybe once I have like the Discord up and running, I prefer to do that then, and people can build teams and everything. Um, is there stuff that I need to do? Let me make sure that I have everything I need. Mm -hmm. hmm. Who the fuck is this? Where did you come from? Huh. Anyway, um, let's go to the next part of the story. <laughs> it's, okay. Uh, I wanted to... I, I, um... Okay, first off, I need to thank more people. Uh, Angel Midnight, thank you so much for 100 biddies. I, I think, no, I already thanked. Um, Frost Hell Over, thank you so much. For five months. No, that person also... K9, thank you so much for gifting a, a, a sub. My event tracker is having so much trouble, like, keeping up. Because you guys are so... So full of love and cheer. Yeah, um... Funny story about Farina. I, um... I'm gonna put the dialogue down just one minute pip. Yeah, I, I'll get back to the games I want to play. Um, while I was on the plane... Chiala, thank you so much for four months. While I was on the plane ride back, I was like, I'm going to do one pull, just for funsies, on Farina's banner. And I got her. So, I have Farina. I don't know if I'm going to use her on this team, because she doesn't really benefit um, Bloom all that much, but maybe... I don't know. I'll find some place for her. Drock, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know she's a healer, but, like, Kave doesn't really need a healer. And I have Baiju for heals. Am I gonna go to the Genshin concert? I couldn't find a ticket in time. Is she- is she still good for Bloom for Kave teams? Alk- Alchemy! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Yeah, Kave's his own healer, guys. Chris Khan? Uh, Pecky Podium Lamarai, thank you so much for 100 biddies. She's pretty good on Kave teams. Maybe with Nilu. Like, she doesn't benefit Bloom, is the thing. Or, unless she does. She can do Bloom. Like, I know she can do Bloom, but, like, is there better for. Is it better to have her instead of, like, Yelon or. Her non-healer mode works well for Bloom. Interesting. I don't have Nilu, and I don't have Nah uh, Nahida. She can buff Kave personal damage. Okay. You, you know what? You sold me. I think. Uh, Sign normal. Thank you so much for the for the sub. I think. Yeah, I can. Re I can start building her and replace Yelon with her. I don't have Kokumi. What if I just show you guys all my characters? Will that assist in the decision-making process? Where's my key? Yeah, I know, buddy. Oh, not again. What do you mean quality? I just want like sort it by rarity. This is all. This is everybody I have. You can tell that I don't play this game often. Uh, Saku Sakura Cherry. Thank you so much for six months. Would you like to watch a 46-second YouTube video with us? It's Genshin Burst, but it's all Kave. It is done by a sound-alike VA. It's super cool, and I think you'd enjoy it, but no pressure. Maybe at the end of the stream. I don't want to become a, a reaction VTuber. Oh my god. Hang on, let me... Let me help... Uh, Nightbot is being a bit annoying. There we go. Mm -hmm. Kave, Farina, Yelan, and Fischl for Hyperbloom? Maybe. Hmm. Queer Bunny, thank you so much for the hmm. Prime sub. I'll replace Xingqiu with Farina. She, re she needs really high ER at C0. That's my main problem with this team. It has woefully low ER, and I don't want to pull for weapons that give ER just yet. I should. 
But maybe not on this banner. Anyway, let's continue the story. You're actually Nishida, aren't you? Kinda felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the sub Festival. Have you ever considered getting a VTube model? I have. But it's very expensive. So... Um, I might wait until... I ha I've had to spend a lot of money recently. For a lot of just investments on things. Um, I'm gonna get personal training done. And that's that was a lot of money. Um, and then I bought a new phone, because my, my current one's kind of crapping out. Um, and also all the Visa stuff will cost a lot of money. Too much yike! Thank you so much for gifting five subs! Thank you, thank you. Um, not training to become a VTuber. Fitness training. And, Dunyarzad, did you save her? I want to become swole and huge. I want to become huge. That's a really long I want to I want to look how this voice sounds. Her consciousness is still weakened. Visa stuff um is okay now. Like I've I've solved it. Um I'm going to be going back to Chile for uh, for Christmas and New Year's and um like I don't I don't think there's going to be any more problems with uh, issues. Now the lurk command doesn't work. What the fuck is wrong with Nightbot? I don't understand. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this dude lurking. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm, how about by the traveler's favorite bench? Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, visa stuff is fine now. I uh, there's nothing more to worry about. Wait a minute. How do I toggle the... There we go. Um... I have... I have thought about a ping tuber. I think that might be easier. Sub Zerker. Welcome, man. I think I do want to pull whatever banner has Kave next, so just so I have his like C6 ready to go. I'm probably not going to redeem it, but I do want to have that just locked in and ready. You accidentally picked up a spider. That's a difficult thing to do accidentally, but dang, sucks. Too much yike. Thanks for giving yourself a sub after gifting everybody else. C6 means that you, you pull copies of each character. And uh, the more copies you have, the more perks they get. I don't want to redeem Kave C6 because I feel like that would ruin a lot of his non-bloom teams. Because it would, like, the burst, the extra, like, explosion makes uh, blooms pop. But then again, I think his bloom production would be high enough that maybe that wouldn't really matter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the traveler had described. Uh, if you get a VTuber, will it be designed to look like you, or do you want to make up a character design? Um, I think that I'm a very boring looking person. So it would probably be something else. I've said before that I want to be a cute anime girl. Um, and I think it would just be funny if there was a cute anime girl that looked like, that sounded like this. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Frog cut again with the guys. This cut? Frogs aren't that big of a deal for. I already talked about what my favorite animals are. I think frogs are cute, but like I, they're they're not high up there on my my uh, tier list of of um, lizards. I think geckos are super cute, and um, uh, skinks. I think they're really cute too. Um, and I really like bearded dragons. I'm not saying frogs. Yeah, fin frog. Listen, 
I'm, I, I, I know there's a bit of bias here from you, but I mean, frogs are good. I'm not saying frogs are, frogs are bad. I'm not going to get, you know, pancakes and waffled on Twitter again. Oh, so you hate frogs then, huh? They're pretty great. But, you know, if I had to pick a favorite lizard, it'd probably be a gecko. I think ge geckos are really cute. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Yeah, skinks are cute. Such a this is so cute. Fragment of consciousness can't last for very long. Acrylic Madness, thank you so much it for subbing. To its original dream. Welcome aboard. Where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. It's... Max, thank you so much again for the 10 gifted subs. Wow. Just so you guys are aware, we, we, um, we hit the, uh, the, uh, the, the sub goal for partner like ages ago. So you guys, you don't have to keep subbing. Uh, all I need to do is just stream for like 12 days. <laughs> or I guess 15 days. And then we have partner and then GG. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for me. It's so weird for me hearing breaking the samsara. Nahida's voice coming out of Catherine like this. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end. Not a moment too soon. A very happy ending. This is truly a miracle. <laughs> huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. I need to spend more time observing human emotions. We sub because we love you? <laughs> Stop. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Alright. You two must have a lot of oh my God. questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. Max, thanks so much for getting us up to baby ooh. <laughs> Star Fox, thank you so much for the Prime sub. And Greeny, thank you so much for 13 biddies. Uh, Project Amai, thank you so much for raiding. Welcome, gamers. We're doing, we're about, we're starting out this next leg of the Archon uh, quest. I have thought about Bloom Shatter Team. Um, I guess Kaya, I like replaced uh, fucking. Who would I replace? I guess Baiju with uh, Kaya? Um. Anyway, uh, what about. Okay, what was that shit that happened in the Avidia Forest? In the Avidia Forest, there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree and a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. Yeah, so you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about and if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm, it seems like the traveler established a connection to Ermensoul. That was a message left by greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. So we directly connected with Ermensoul without having to use the Akasha? As you two probably know, Greater Lord Ruka it's like, it's like disappeared after the disaster in Kanye. Connecting directly the to, um... Do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. Connecting directly to Google's database instead of using Google. A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from King Deshret. King Deshret? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? Uh, I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Do I like gerbils? Yeah. I think they're cute. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermensoul seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Yeah, I like how offended Nahida sounded about, like, King Deshret. The fuck does King Deshret have to do with this? 
many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. So you don't like hamsters? About this many times, Stop it. But people still keep falling victim to it. Rats are very cute. I I genuinely am considering like buying a couple of rats. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermin's soul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. What about guinea pigs? I think they're a bit too loud. I think they're adorable, but like, they might be too loud. I would love to get a ferret, but I heard they're really stinky. So the tree in the vision was Ermensoul? Kiska? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermensoul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? Uh, Max, thank you so much for 100 biddies. Get bunnies? I don't know. Bunnies would be actually nice, too. There's a lot of small furry animals that I would I would like to have. You like rats but not frogs? I um I think um I think there are green green tree frogs or something. Let me look at them. Look this up. Green tree frog. Yeah, green tree frogs are cute. Um I don't think that's the specific frog in in uh, the os frog. Uh, Red-eyed tree frogs are also really cute. Most tree frogs are cute. Um. But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. God, I want a dog so badly, you guys. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance of deciphering it. I want a dog so badly. I want a miniature pincher. <laughs> Skylark floating, thank you so much for the Prime sub. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermensoul. This is the only one left. What dogs do you like? All of them. I love every dog. You know that you know that Twitter uh, account called We Rate Dogs. That's me. Uh, every dog is a is a at least a ten out of ten. Um, I mean a Labrador would be good too. I, I'd really like uh, a black lab would be really really fun to have. I have a lot of family that have owned uh, Black Labs. Um, no, I want to get a, a Dachshund, because uh, I had I had a Dachshund growing up in um, in Chile. Her name was Sofia, and uh, she was the best dog in the world. And I wanna, I wanna get an, another one because uh, she was my favorite, and I miss her. Cameron, thank you so much for five months. Welcome back. Uh, but I'd also like a bulldog. I think bulldogs are cute, or boxers. Actually, no, boxers are too big. I'm, I like big dogs are okay, but like I've lived in apartments for so long that, like, I'm just used to the idea of having a small dog. Why do you look like Catherine? Accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousness? What breed is Ryuji? I think Ryuji is a corgi. I, I don't I don't have access to Ryuji, so like that's a question for Alejandro. Excuse me, Sayu. Can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. So Nahida can just possess anybody that has an Akasha? This is Google Google Glass that a uh, god can possess you. Leo N, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome. I've 
always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this bionic Snishnayan puppet. Uh, oh, hold on. Did we just learn some deep, dark secrets? Yeah. Um, Catherine is... No. Wonder have they ever... Something was off about her. Have they ever talked about where Catherine's from? Is this the first time that we know that they're Snishnayan robots? Sheesh. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Samaria. Oh, the Adventures Guild of Nine, I see. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I hardly heard from them since. Wait, was that a spoiler? Was I supposed to know that the Adventures Guild was Shnazdayan? Because one of you said, you find that out in a, in a different Archon quest. It's like, you mean an Archon quest that happens after this? So you're spoiling? However, oh, we knew about it since Monstadt? Oh! I think they mentioned it, yeah. Me, the symbol of her passing. It's been so long since Monstadt. <laughs> put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they? Uh, why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? We're on the other side of- the, we're on the other side of Tevat. We- we can't be thinking ways, about Mondstadt. They aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. What kind of dog would Kaveh get if he did? Um... I don't feel like he'd be a poodle guy. And I... Uh, I'm still... Yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub -Zero's festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. Kazoo Enjoyer, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome aboard. Thoughts on Arlecchino? Or Arlecchino? How is it? Um... I love her design. But, I don't like the rat tail. I don't like the the long part of her hair. I think if she just had short hair, 10 out of 10 design. Amazing. Incredible. But because of that long strand of hair, mm, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. They were so close to perfection with that character design. Trying to find a way to save Ermansol is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. Like, it's so funny, because during the the Harbinger, uh, like, the trailer with all of them, I was like, god damn, Arlequino's design is so fucking good. Like, look at this, like, short-haired, great, excellent, fantastic, and then, like, someone posted, like, just the rat tail and hopes deleted. About the Sage's plan. There's never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. Rat tail on males are good? I mean, if used sparingly. I wonder what caused them to go down this path and what they hope to achieve. Um, I'm not a fan of, uh, like, I don't know if, like, this is a, a, a hot opinion or not. I don't like Zhongli's rat tail. I think he'd look better without it. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, if the Traveler hadn't broken the sub Samsara, the situation could have become dire. So you hate Zhongli? <laughs> I tried to do some investigating in the Akashi, Listen. but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seemed to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. What if all hate them had a rat tail? Then his design would be less. 
I think, um... Yeah, I think he'd look way worse with one. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Zhongli with... Okay. I, I want to see Zhongli with long hair. Like, long flowing hair. Not with, uh, not with a rat tail. Like, I want this dude to, uh, look like, um... What's his face from Heaven Official's Blessing? The main guy. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Yeah, I, I, uh... Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? I, guys, I'm in that show. I did some bits for it, but, like, I, I, I didn't watch a lot of it. And I have a friend that, uh, really loves, uh, um, TGCF. Yeah, I'm in like one scene where they're talking to somebody. I'm I'm like a farmer or whatever. I'm not like a named character. I just show up in one of the scenes. Why do I not announce this stuff? I don't I I usually don't announce my bits. Cuz it's like like hey, I'm this random dude that says two lines that doesn't have a name. Like I don't know. I just don't see the point. But yes, I, I, I would like to, um, I'd like to see Zhongli with, like, that haircut. I think Regardless, it'd be, I need it'd to be first nice. investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. No one has realized the issue. No one has realized the issue with the Akasha. I've decided that the Traveler is just going to be Tommy Wiseau. You mean? How the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up. Opinions on... Is Daluk getting a new model? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the Sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The Sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. That's such a cringe sentiment. Fuck these Sages. The dreams of pirates will never die. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the Sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Rukadevata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. Ben, on that hypothetical anime girl avatar, would she wear a skirt, pants, shorts, or a dress? I don't know. Maybe like a romper. The perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. Retaliists, thank you so much for two months. And thank you for, uh... Yeah, the visa stuff being sorted. I'm I'm glad too. <laughs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Uh. Hey, what's up? What 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 are these hypotheticals that I'm getting? Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzeru Samsara in the immediate future. Um, what shoes? I don't know. High top Converse sneakers? I don't know. Go and get some sleep. 
You're asking me to like think up of a of a VTuber on the fly here. Piece by piece. <laughs> The knee, there's a knee high converse. Oh, it's her birthday. Huh? Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? Uh, Rat Girl, thank you so much for 100 biddies. Oh, Catherine, you've snapped back to reality. Uh, maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh, we happened to walk by. We thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Yeah, uh, good good job with the M&M uh, hive mind chat. Oh. Soup time. Thank you for that. Um, what was I gonna say? What I have to do? What's happening? Trounce domain? What the fuck? Oh, these- okay, alright, whatever. Why am I getting told to go kill the phantom blubber beast? I don't want to kill the phantom blubber beast. Yeah, I know, guys. I don't play this game a lot. We meet again, you two. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. Uh, wait, say what now? And if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. If I have to do all of this, I will uninstall the game. Huh? What kind of commission is that? I feel embarrassed just imagining it. The audience would definitely have... A reaction. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. <laughs> hey, that's not any better. Isn't that just asking for a beating? Mercenaries and orphanages really don't go together. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. <laughs> What a- what a commission, Catherine. Uh, Paimon's gotta ask. Just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, the commissioner? Hmm, well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. You're Nahida, right? <laughs> Was it so obvious? I was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. I like how, um, Nahida was like, I don't usually, uh, possess people, but now she's, like, pretending to be Catherine. Ah, so Trickster god. Nahida. I just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. When did you get into her head? <laughs> Catherine isn't funny. From when she said, add Astra out of Sosk? So it's been you this whole time? Uh, are you done resting up, Nahida? Yes. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways. And I even had a really, really long dream. What did you dream about? <laughs> what a There's dream, Nahida. dream about the sub Festival. Except it was a happy one. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, 
and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. They danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. D it, so it was mid. It was you dreamt about Midsummer, like the movie Midsummer. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Ferris, the knight of flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground, and I was hey. throwing an endless amount of Yalda candies at the children. Not that movie. It was a good movie. It was really good. It was it was spooky, but I I thought it was really good. It was very effective of get it, at getting under your skin, uh, the same way Hereditary was. You know, Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzeru's festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, good movie, but traumatizing is a good way of, of <laughs> describing it. It's the weirdest IKEA commercial I've ever seen. But in reality... Huh? Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both looking at me like that? Wait... Could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? Yeah, Hereditary is really good. I couldn't stop thinking about that movie, like, for two weeks after I watched it. That's how you know it's a good horror movie, when, it, like, you have trouble forgetting about it. No, no! We are pitying you! That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homiyanis haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering on the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermansalt's own withering. I cannot handle horror movies. Can someone badly explain the plot? Um, a family goes through some tough times. But for the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right. Who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzeru's Festival. So our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the Sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss it somewhere else. There are too many adventurers around here. Oh, good point. Uh, sorry adventurers, we're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little we're while. We're talking about how we're gonna overthrow the government. Dreams, emptiness, deception. Let's continue our chat here. Okay, so do you have any ideas on how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? Ben, who's your favorite Archon? Venti. A little bit of work on that, but for now, I want to hear your thoughts. Um possess a student and infiltrate the city. I mean If Nahida can just like possess people, why doesn't she just possess one of the sages? I've already tried that. But all the key members of the academia, oh, even the okay. core of 30 guards, intentionally avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course, it could also be because they're weary of me. Have you already Max, thank you so much for the 100 bitties, and don't feel bad about I'm running out of bits. But this trusting me would uh, make perfect sense good luck at the vet tomorrow. Paid attention to the urban legends about me. In any case, I probably can't take over their minds directly. Uh, possess a student and infiltrate the sages' quarters. No way, that's too risky. You mean it'd be too easy to get caught? No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. 
A single mistake could completely ruin their lives. That's a price I'm Three, willing to pay. Ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. How is that any different from what the sages are doing? Ben, can I ask what the fuck is this accent or should I mind my business? Go watch Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Uh, preferably with friends and or drunk. That's a good point. Spoken like the god of Sumeru. We could grab someone close to the sages and question them. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. After all, every person in Sumeru City is one of their hostages. I can't think of any... Look, all you're doing right now, Nahida, is just shooting everything down. You're just shoot. You're just shooting me down. You're 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 killing my buzz. Hmm. I can't think of anything. Are we really out of ideas? Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already. Hi from Puerto Montt. Popular theory from the Dang. Darshan of the academia. It must be hella cold there. Practical motions at the beginning of a planning session. Gracias por uh. Por decir hola. Okay, okay, but aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. Hmm. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm, that does sound like it could work. Oh, before coming back, we met someone named Al Haytham. What? He seems like he acts alone, and he likes doing stuff behind the academia's back. They probably aren't in cahoots. Actually, I already have someone in mind. Do you still remember that female scholar named Sataria? Sataria? Paima remembers now. Isn't she the one who's always trailing behind the grand sage of the academia? I'll hate the mentioned we go ape shit. Basically, every time the Sumsewa's festival repeated itself. You could even say we're old enemies by now. Paima still remembers the smug and mean way she always spoke to Nilu. Let's go. They've always liked observing all kinds of people, and Sataria has always stood out from the crowd. She was born in the desert and was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia and also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's assistant. Was Sataria the blue haired girl that was with the old guy? You saved me. Why? Monkey. Yeah, good, good ook. Good oaks. I was like reading the story as you guys were doing oh, that. I didn't know she was from the desert. <laughs> she must be pretty special then. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Like most of the desert dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. The name Sitaria means star. Yeah, she didn't look she like an Aramite. Like I guess sky. I guess Maybe not well, all the desert people have to be Aramites. The star was given mm. a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Soon after, the star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light up part of the night sky? If someone starts streaming in which language you suggest them to speak their mother tongue language or English, you can do whatever you want. But in the end, she couldn't give up the radio. Seriously, whatever is most comfortable for you. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. This is no longer just a metaphor. Those are Sataria's true thought. I'm like sounding like that guy from Family Guy who was like, Yeah, I was about to have sex with my girlfriend, and then there was this loud noise. And then we saw that there was this bear. And then I went back to my girlfriend, but then she said that there was no way. From the sound of it, Sataria's just hung up on the research opportunities here. 
That's like the one old family guy joke that I can't stop thinking about. <laughs> Rena, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Indeed. When they are presented with complex moral issues, many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. Frost, thank you so much for the 40 biddies. Yeah, I don't know what accent that is. I feel like it's like Polish or something. I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure Seth MacFarlane knows. She's suppressing a lot of guilt, but before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. No, she it's not. <laughs> hey Ben, remember the time Remember the time when you did the funny thing? Holy holy crap, Paimon. Right. We must somehow make her face her problems again. That way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. Thank you, Starspelled, for the hundred biddies. Tataria will take a day off from the academia every ten days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be our chance. Hey, Lois, remember the time when I'll hate them? To prepare. Let's go check out some of her Kiska. favorite spots and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Okay, I just... Um, a mental image of Peter Griffin dressed as Kave flashed, like, in my mind, and it was like the, uh, the Akira meme where he's like, LEAVE ME ALONE! I'm Gracie, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. <laughs> like, it's just the default stance Peter Griffin, but he's dressed as, <laughs> as Kave. <laughs> uh, Pastel Scott, thank you so much for subbing. Hey Lois, check it out! <laughs> I'm Kave from Genshin Impact. <laughs> this should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. Uh, so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now. It's for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style <laughs> and key characteristics. I'm seeing people say I'll hate them as Lois or I'll hate them as Stewie. I feel like he'd be more of a Stewie. Talking style and key characteristics? My poor lost lambs. Have you become troubled over your fate? Who's the, um... Who's the Chris of the Sumeru Krumeru? Lone Script 1, thank you so much for three months. Sino is Lois and Tainari is Brian. I don't know about that one. Who would be Brian? Dory is Chris. I expected you guys to say Dory was Meg because nobody likes Meg. I like Dory too, but that's just the general vibes that I get from from everybody. Don't insult Meg like that, jeez. The divine voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. If thou be blessed today by the gods, I may be able to show you- So you hate Kave? <laughs> Stop! Stop it! Zombie Killer, thank you so much for gifting us up to, uh, Cor Coruscate Breeze. Is Wanderer Stewie? Oh. Okay, except Wanderer is Stewie and Nahida is Lois. I can I can see it. I see it. 
Wait, what if all hate them was Joe? <laughs> hey, Kava. <laughs> hey, Kava. You forgot your key. You forgot your keys again, Kave. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Shh. <clears throat> My friend Dory would be Quagmire. Can we get a fortune reading for him? Oh my god. Yeah, Joe's a cop, you're right. It should be Sino. Hey, Kave. Are you gonna Are you gonna use that that TCG card? Can I buy it off you? Does that make, uh, Tainari is Bonnie then? Hmm. Of course, of course. In that case. Nightbot is still being. Fuck it now. I'm just gonna disable this. <laughs> That was a weird meow. What the fuck was that? Uh -huh. It would seem that Harut and Marut are quite wary of you. Perhaps, at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. Oh no. I, was it because I talked about <laughs> all this Family Guy shit? Hmm. <laughs> Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord of Geo's financial uh -huh. savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? Oh yeah, we did kind of fuck with several gods now, already. Oh, nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. Uh, will it be chat? Will it be health or love? Okay, it's pretty overwhelmingly love. Yeah, I should have. I should have guessed. Love prospects, <laughs> no problem at all. Love. Um. <laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. One who is fated to cross your path will appear on. On. Huh? So. So many people will fall for you. How could that be? Did they just canonically confirm that everybody loves the Traveler? And that the harem ending is the true ending? <laughs> he gets bitches?! Uh, I'll hate them, apologist. Thank you so much for the two months. Um. Yeah, I still remember that one person that yelled, You get bitches? Harut, Marut, did you two spoil my divination? I've never read a fortune so absurd. Cat. The, excuse me, these cats have a name? Why is it just a cat? Uh, actually, Paimon thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. Mikey29, thank you so much. And for the sub, Paimon literally just confirmed, yeah, everybody does love the Traveler. Canonically. This is like the opposite of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, where uh, Yoshi P's like, yeah, um, the Warrior of Light's relationship with everybody is entirely up to the player to up to the player's discretion. We're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it in game at all. But then here they're like Oh, you get you everybody loves you. And Paimon's like, yeah, everybody loves them. <clears throat> I admit that the orientation of today's celestial matrix is uh, suboptimal. As such there will be no charge. Is that so? Well, that can't be helped. If you were to bring some food offerings for Harut and Marut on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels of fate. 
Everybody loves Traveler, the hit new sitcom. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love how Nabia is like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way everybody's going to love you, you fucking loser. Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Yep, it belongs to a king. His father helped Sataria a lot when she first moved to Sumeri City, so she still comes by whenever she has time, when I start talking with them. Listen carefully to the details of our conversation. Everybody Hates Chris was such a good show. I, I used to watch it, um, when it was airing. Ah, dear customers. Would you like to look at some pottery? Uh, this is a chapter three? We're on act, what is it, act four, chapter three, or act three, chapter three? We caught wind of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Act 3, Chapter 3, yeah. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big business. I mean, this could be, uh... This could be Damon. I know a lot of people voiced NPCs before they uh, voiced uh, playables. Speaking of... Where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. And I simply changed trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. True. True. That's me with my IT degree. <laughs> I get it. I understand. I know that feel, man. Hmm. So is your father still working as a mason? Someone give this man a true. Oh no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a roof and broke his leg. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Port Ormos nowadays. There we go. Thank you for the for the true. And yeah, I've got I've got an IT degree, or it's specifically information systems. I see. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. If I didn't if I didn't go balls to the wall on voice acting, I probably would have gotten into system administration. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take and, care now. You know, if AI still is a thing, I, maybe I'll I will have to end up going into system admin. No problem. Rest easy. All our goods are sure to meet your every need. Your thoughts on password managers? Ah, the less places that you have your password stored, the better. <laughs> what about the notes app? What did I just say, chat? What did I just say? What did I this just say? This should be our final stop. Sitaria's always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the Academia. So she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. It's funny, uh, Leafy, it's funny that you mentioned that, because that is something that I joked about, that it's like if I get replaced by an AI, I would probably, you know, get into, you know, Databases or something and have to work with AI. <laughs> Nahida, you've really thought of everything. What if you're a little silly and you forget your passwords? Um, I'd write it on a post-it note or something and keep it like hidden. Basically you have to become an NPC in um in a Deus Ex game. Where you need to you need to have uh you you need to have your passport uh, password written down somewhere. So that some dude can come by and read it and then use it to unlock a computer and get 50 XP. <laughs> it's my duty to protect Samiri citizens, after all. Hi there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Adam Jensen will 
break into your house and read your pass password on the post-it and he'll he'll read your emails and then like throw some boxes around and I guess do a non-lethal takedown on you and he'll get like 100 XP and he'll use that to get a Praxis point. Man, I kind of miss Deus Ex <laughs> now that I'm talking about it. Huh? I kind of want to play Deus Ex again. I don't quite remember. If I recall, you were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at the time. Ah, oh, that's right. I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. Wait, Mikey29, did I thank you for subbing? If, if not, thank you for subbing. After all, I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire childhood staring at the ships going in and out of the port. I came to Sumeru to study, but failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. You completely forgot Deus Ex existed? All it takes is one person talking about it and then everybody that has played it before will reinstall. And Deus Ex OG, uh, Reese. But I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. I like Human Revolution, but OG is just like a whole other... It's it's on a whole other level. Like, it's, it's such an amazing video game. It's such an amazing piece of fiction. Like, it's... It's so good. It's such a good game. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. If you could redo college, what major would you take? Probably the same one. I don't regret my choice in major. Like, I I think if I did, if I majored in theater or something, I would probably regret that. <laughs> I know a lot of people that are in, in nursing, and, like, good luck to you. Okay, no, that time the uh, night bot was right, because that was a lot of emotes. Archiviste! Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Uh, sure, but you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. Listen, guys, I'm a theater kid, too. But, like, the thing is, you don't need a degree to prove that you can do theater. <laughs> That's- that's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, you don't need a piece of paper saying, Yeah, this guy can act. Like, you can just act. That's- Your- your acting skills? That's how you showcase your acting skills. It's not with a piece of paper. Yo, Sora! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. If you're- if you're a good enough actor, your acting will prove that. By itself. You don't- you don't need a degree. And like most people that cast for things, they don't care about your degree. They care if you act. Like if you if you have a degree but you don't know how to act, then they're not gonna give a shit. <laughs> but like every actor that I know, well not every one of them, but I would say like a solid 90% of actors that I know, like they didn't get theater degrees. They just act. They, they did theater classes. Some of them have minors in theater, but um, like everybody else, like you can, I would get like a degree in something you can get a, a desk job for, like business. Business is usually the most harmless degree that you can get, and it works basically anywhere. Um, visual advertising, yeah, like whatever, something that you can get a desk job with. But like if you get a theater degree, like you, you're probably going to end up in Starbucks. Or working something else that doesn't need any kind of degree. Yeah, business degrees will cost you a part of your soul. And most business majors I've met have been kind of insufferable. But, like, it'll get you a job. And sometimes you just have to, like, do... Bite the bullet to get a job. So this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. Museology? That's cool as fuck. That's really cool. That's right. It's not usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. English literature and language, yeah, that's... I mean, English majors 
I feel like the only degree that would really... Whoa, it just snapped, like, to daylight. Um... I think English, like... You'd probably end up just being an English teacher, then. Uh, psych majors are cool. I think psychology is something that we need more people doing. Uh, I think more people need to get into humanitarian, um... Studies. Humanities majors are kind of dying out. And, um, we really need them. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. Um, yeah, Deco, that's how I thought college, like, that's how college works everywhere outside of America. But, like, your major is basically your course. Like you get a you get a, a general amount of different classes of different things, but then you you choose a major and then like that gives you a specific like list of classes that you need to take. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Yeah, psych majors are also kind of dying out. It's just that the way that that society's progressing, like there's more of a demand for. Um, hands-on jobs, like business and IT and all that stuff. Um, psych, humanities, sociology, um, all of that stuff is kind of dying out because, you know, those jobs just aren't, they can't keep people afloat anymore. Especially since the, pand the pandemic, exactly. I think like humanities is important because like it we need to we need to have more people that are well versed in ethics and you know moral studies cuz uh, a lot of places are fucking that up. <laughs> um so it just it kind of sucks to be anything that isn't like a a STEM dis uh, discipline. But that's just the way that like uh American society is really working right now. Like, you're either STEM or you're you're useless. Which, it really sucks that that's the case. I feel like, any like in an ideal society, any one of us would be learning what we want to learn and contribute to the world. Um, but no. Heck, even math majors are kind of getting fucked over, it feels like. STEM is uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I think, like, our... Architecture, I think, is one of those, like, um, you know, not to be biased or anything, but I think it is one of those evergreen uh, jobs. There's always going to be a need for architects, I think. Because uh, people do be building. Yeah, we're running out of teachers, too. Everything kind of... Healthcare is also another evergreen discipline. Um... We're always going to need doctors. Even if we get, like, robot doctors. Uh, oh, by the way, Aaron on Twitch, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Um, but we need teachers. We need, like, more people that are versed in ethics. We need more, um, more therapists. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, a lot of these jobs, like, they just don't pay enough. Should be enough for Sataria. Uh, Kaifer or Cypher, that's exactly right. We need more people to help other people. You're kind of, um... There's a big push towards more selfish jobs. Like, just be a programmer. Or, like, just be, be a business... Business boy. Sensibilities. Yeah, Whimsical Scribbler, you also make a really good point. That bachelor's degrees and a lot of, like, the 
the psych or social humanities things, like, they don't do anything. Like, nobody wants bachelors in these things anymore. You need to have a master's degree. But, like, sometimes a bachelor is is fine for a lot of jobs. Like, you need, you need master's stuff for, uh, for entry-level jobs nowadays now. Yeah, Deco. Bachile bachilerato. I think that's how it's called in Spanish. Uh, Anima Leo, thank you so much for the T2 sub. Wow! Enjoy your exclusive T2 emote. I think it's Ben Benbev Evil. Bachillerato, yeah, exactly. I remember you mentioned that the Eremites in Port Ormos are all making a fuss about the upcoming resurrection of King Deshret. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the fate of her homeland may turn out to be Satari. It's funny Sapphire. how we are having this conversation while doing the Sumeru Archon quest, because Sumeru's kind of going through the same problem, where if you're not part of the academia, you kind of don't get to live comfortably and artists like Nahida and Kave like go through tough times because the arts aren't as uh as uh praised as um raw intellect excuse me Nilu you're right Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages. If King Dashrat were to criticize Satari's actions. Hmm. So, how do we set that up? Well, King Dashrat is long gone, and Satari is also too smart to fall for any simple you. tricks. If we simply engage <laughs> her for simple the tricks. King Dashrat's believers, she would definitely be weary of us. And we may not get anywhere. Oh, thank you, Leo. But if we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, her reaction would probably be very different. I'll hate like um I hate them um Haravatat, right? So you mean you're going to possess those people we just talked to? Yeah. And they're like linguistics. Semiotics, yeah. Yep. Possess them through the Akasha. Imply they've already converted to the faith of King Deshret, and then convey our made-up will of King Deshret. Honestly, like, I feel like Alhatham, if he were a real person, would probably be, a, like, a polyglot. He'd, he'd, he'd work as a translator. As long as everything goes smoothly, we'll get through to Sataria for sure. She'll never guess that we had anything to do with it. He'd speak, like, ten languages or something. Oh, yeah. He, he, you need to know 20 languages? There you go. Ah, so that's how you're going to use all the info we collected on these people. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only <laughs> work if you can manage to pass off as them. Yeah, someone said the guy who doesn't communicate effectively is extremely good at communicating. He's really, he's, he's extremely good at studying the elements of communi communication. But, it, like, it's the difference between being really good at theory and being really good at, at practical. You know? Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. Huh? Best of luck? But, we don't know how to possess anyone. That's no problem at all. I'll just share all their senses with you once I've possessed them. As long as you're also wearing an Akasha terminal, the effect will basically be as if you've possessed them yourself. I mean, like, theory is a lot of fun to study, like, in terms of languages, because etymology is just a lot of fun. But... Yeah. 
Homie, homie needs some, still needs some practice with that shit. Uh, Zodiac Knights, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Huh. That is pretty convenient. But why does he have to do this? Can't you do it yourself? I didn't, I didn't realize that I loved, um, like, math theory until, uh, I started working at a, at a company, and then, like, they were talking about, like, some, some specific goals and, like, you know, numbers to hit, and then I was like, wait, I can interpret this as a, as a formula, as a mathematic formula, and they're like, huh? No, you just need to count this, I'm like, no, 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 I can just write it as a formula. Where X is whatever, and it's just like, wait, holy shit. Have I liked math this whole time? Am I a fucking loser? Although I've been observing humans for a while, I've never been good at imitating them. I did enjoy math growing up. Um, specifically statistics. And uh, logic, too. Balancing equations was honestly, like, some of my favorite stuff. It's always been painfully obvious whenever you try to pass as Catherine. Because balancing a to me, balancing an equation is just like solving a puzzle. And I just love, I like solving puzzles. But stats is, is still my favorite. Except for probability. That's where shit started to get a bit funky, but, um, whatever. I had trouble with physics calculations a lot. Like if you if you give me one of those like a train is uh, traveling at 95 kilometers an hour in one direction and then another train is traveling at whatever kilometers an hour in the other direction, like when will they intersect? Like those kinds of questions, I hate them. Um, history or geography? Probably history. I mean, geography for me, I feel like is, is, well, no, geography is also pretty good. I love both of them a lot. <laughs> I mean, I had, I, I had a bit of a, bit of an advantage with geography because I traveled so much. But history is, is really good. I've never really needed that much geography because I just have a I have a a good internal compass. Like, uh, did I tell you guys how I basically memorized the like the whole five to ten? I would say like no, like two mile radius of uh my mom's apartment back in Chile. Like we went out to get food or something and then she's like, "Oh, I need to I need to go uh like grab something from this store." Like, "Do you but let's head back home first." And I'm like, "No, I I can just go back by myself." And she's like, "We just you just got here. Are you saying that you already memorized the way back?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I did. I knew how to get back. I'm really good at locations. Like I'm I'm it's very difficult for me to get lost. It's great memory, but just for locations. Like I, I just have a really good. I, I'm really good at um. At um, I guess making, making uh, markers, like in my head. Like, oh yeah, um, I took a left at that store, and oh yeah, there was a, there was a funny looking tree to the right. I feel like GeoGuessr, I wouldn't be super good at it. I have tried it a few times, but, you know, if, if I'm out in the, in like, the forest, I don't know what to do. You have a good internal compass? Name every place. <laughs> <laughs> Genshin Geoguessr, I feel like I'd have a decent time in. 
but I haven't really explored that much of the world yet, so... I don't know. Peace out, Natsu. Have fun at work. The States game? Bro, I'm not American. I'm not... No soy de Estados Unidos. Soy chileno. If it was at all possible, I would have preferred to leave these people alone. But seeing how things are now, I probably should just accept it and push on. Non-Americans do better than Americans? Really? That's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, don't beat yourself up over it. We're only doing this to help everyone. So you hate maps, I'm someone says in all caps. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, then let's give it a go tomorrow afternoon. Hello, neighbor. Brazil here. Excuse me. You're Argentina's neighbor. Argentina is keeping... is what's between Chile and Brazil. Okay. Litton, thank you so much for raiding. Welcome, raiders. Uh, I'm a voice actor, and I'm playing this game. Hello, neighbor from Peru. Yeah, okay, that... That makes sense. Brazil is like Sumeru. <laughs> Actually, yeah, with all the forests and stuff, but there aren't that many uh, deserts in um, Brazil, are they? I feel like Chile has a lot of... No, it doesn't. It doesn't have any jungles. Because, um... I feel like Chile has more forests than, than jungles. Chile is not Fontaine. Let's let's be real here. Cause you have the Atacama up north. And then um Yeah, I know that Sumeru is based on the Middle East. I'm just saying like if we can find an equivalent in South America. Um and somebody asked que region the que region soy, soy de Santiago. Bueno, I'm soy Nací en Inglaterra, pero yo me, me considero de Santiago. La mayoría de mi familia también está en Santiago también. Entonces. See you the sin of love. Thank you so much for the 50 bitties, by the way. I just want to leave a small thank you because you're a really cool guy and I really love how you voice Kave as well. I'm actually studying architecture myself and I actually, whenever I doubt the decision, thinking of Kave gives me motivation to keep going. Remember the part where he says, don't be an architect? <laughs> um, but thank you to you. I, I, uh, it's always fun to have uh, characters inspire such strong decisions like that. Uh, my one of my siblings is um is a architect, and a lot of people in my family are too. Legs once in a while, people aren't made to stay cooped up inside all the time. Coffee, I've been cooped up all day. Actually, no, I went I went out to uh, drop my roommate off at the airport. What am I supposed to wait for? Twelve next day. I've got that big arm. I mean, my 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 older brother. He was gonna. I have technically three siblings: uh, a half brother, half sister, and then uh, my older brother. And uh, my brother was gonna get into architecture too, but then he got into film, and now he um, he. Uh, what was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought completely. Now he he does music festivals. Yeah, he's starving too, but I'm not going to put my brother on blast on stream. Even though he deserves it. Did I ever think about becoming an architect? No, not really. Am I the youngest sibling? Yes. It's why I'm... I got my name. Um... Because... Benjamin is apparently slang for the youngest of the family, or the last of the family. Ooh, here she comes! Satori is here! 
Let's quietly follow her. Once she starts hey, talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. As for how we'll sway her to our side, I'll leave that to you. I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, I'm starting to feel kind of nervous. Okay, let's go. How did they know you were the last? <laughs> what a question to ask. They just knew. Looks like they've already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. I guess I was born and like, my parents were like, yo, this dude has massive last of the family vibes. <laughs> this dude will be the end of the bloodline. <laughs> This blo our bloodline will die with this child. <laughs> That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And I'm besides, possessing this person. Everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Oh my god. I can I can cause so much trouble. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. Wait, so who's who's in Nabia's body right now? Is it me or is it Nahida? Or is it both? That sounded really bad, by the way. Who's possessing Nahida? Okay. The Traveler. Okay, so this is all the Traveler talking. <sighs> okay, then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. <laughs> That's such a weird sounding meow. It's like... <laughs> Strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? She dialed the phone, but then handed it to you. That's a good way of putting it. I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Uh, it was Harut, Harut and Marut. Ah, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. So, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Ben, do a better meow? You know, like, nya. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. A mess? Well... You're a Could mess, you Sataria. Fucking Paimon. I really just want to get it over with. I like how her uh, her constant like her constellation thing just kind of showed through the box there. I hear you. No problem. Inner KB, thank you so much for the, the sub, by the way. Will reveal the truth. Um... See, Paimon's great. Paimon's. Uh, I continue to to insist. That, um, that Paimon is a good character. Oh, fuck, what was it? Was it hum or oh ho 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 ho? I'm pretty sure it was hum. The gods are asking, Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? <laughs> why haven't I gone home? Get out of here, Sataria. Everything I've been thinking about. Get out of here. You gotta go. Sataria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Uh, the gods seem to be truly upset. We go, 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 go. Thank you so much for the 45 biddies. What if, um... That'd be terrifying, honestly. If you were looking at a... Um, if you were at a fortune teller and they're just like, Run! Go home! You have to get out! Go home! Run! Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. Run! And, if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? Ba ba ba? What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, King Deshrat. Uh, 
King Deshred? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Uh huh. Wait a second. King Deshred passed away a long time ago. Yeah, we're just gaslighting the shit Even out of this, news this person. Even King Deshret's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the Academia. How can King Deshret still exist in real life? Huh. What insolence! I am King Deshret's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? So you're saying you hate King Deshret? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Uh, wait! Oh, the, the black cat was looking straight at the screen. That was kind of spooky. Damn. Ooh, she just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset too. Well done. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. Echo Echo three, thank you so much for your prime sub. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her, that must have shaken her to the core. Fifka. Chajizuma, thank you so much for the 69 biddies. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Aw, Nahida. It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribata theories. And in any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Fifka? Anyway, enough of that. Rekul, thank you so much for the Let's 12 bitties. Catch up to Sataria. Are we gonna just chase after Sataria over and over and over again and keep gaslighting her? Oh. Fucking. Let me, let me disable the link thing. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Oh, fuck. What was it? Was it gardening? I don't remember. Gardening? But don't you hate everything to do with plants? Uh! I still remember getting mad at you for secretly throwing away the bonsai that I gave you as a present. A bonsai? Um... Well, uh, you see, a friend told me that the secret to self-improvement is to work on things you're not so good at. D d yeah, see, I, I guess I'm getting the bad ending now. <sighs> Fair enough. I didn't think that was something you would consider. Speaking of... Gaslight impact. He <laughs> is he feeling any better? Sorry, to respond to a quick DM. Uh, he can lift stuff now. Huh? Wasn't he nursing a leg injury? I'm just going to pick all the wrong choices arms had always been for comedy's sake. Uh, he sprained his arm a while back while trying to show off his strength. I thought you'd heard. I got the first one perfectly. I'm gonna get this one imperfect. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. <laughs> the game's like, we're not letting- we're not trusting you to answer that one. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Let him know that recently, faith in King Deshred has taken root in Port Ormos, and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper, and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those King Deshret believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia, or King Deshret? Uh, I... 
I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert, yet you chose to betray King Deshret, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the academia. This what? Uh, the, b b Imagine you're like t uh, talking with like, like a, like a dude at, at a Ralph's or something. Like he's he, like yeah you know I just needed to buy some some drinks and uh, some snacks. I was out of milk and bread. And they're uh, just the fellow working the the till. Is like all right I'll be uh fifty nine ninety nine. How does it feel betraying everything that you stood for? Can you live with yourself, knowing that you're working for the enemy? Akeem, you don't mean you've also become a believer of King Deshret? What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? And you're just like, listen, what what are you talking? I just I'm just here to to buy some some snacks and some supplies. And they're like, don't you want to Join the Illuminati? Why are you a fence sitter? C can't pick a side. Me? Whoa. I had no idea you'd be so good <laughs> Don't you just want to go ape shit? <laughs> Before I knew it, I was I really started getting into the role. You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Dang, we're really traumatizing her, but let's keep going. It'll be funny. Get back here! Get back here! Come on! Sit tight! So, she's Sean. Have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? Oh, I feel like it was basement. Which one's the wrong one, so I can pick that one? <laughs> oh, right. Speaking of strange th I celebrated the Subzerus Festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait... How could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Yeah, so this is you, after after going to Ralph's and getting your stuff, you go to a tavern. And they're just like, yeah, I've been having a weird day. Like, I, I, uh, I don't know what to do, man. And, like, the bartender's like, everybody knows. Everybody knows what you did. Uh, uh, Shishan, don't tell me that you've converted to King Deshret as well. What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. <clears throat> In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who works side by side with the academia and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects. Please, please stop! Yamero could have stop. Even now, Satori is still Gamers. trying to run from her problems. Did I, did I push her too hard? She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards! We did it, gang. We, we made this person go insane. This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city. And they've already converted oh, many here we go. to their side. Here I go gaslighting again. Heretics. What kind of heresy are you talking about? King Deshred. Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? 
King Deshreth is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. So this is like after you go to the tavern, you're just like, you go to the nearest police officer, it's like, officer, please, what the fuck is happening? Everybody's talking about the Illuminati, and then the officer's like, you can't outrun us. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Hey, what's up? It'd be it'd be weird if a cop did that to you. Um, but it would still be better than the normal cop response where they go, holy shit, and then they shoot you. Child of King Deshret. This joke Never is sponsored by America. Belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't What the take fuck a is side? happening? Is she having like a mental breakdown? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. Tataria, why haven't you gone home? We did it, guys. We gave this woman a mental breakdown. <sighs> it seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of King Death. Gamers. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. Is it? Is it familiar? I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the sage's plans, and from ignoring the letters from the children. Gamers. But no matter how much I may try to ignore or get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. Celestial Shibe, thank you so much for resubbing with your prime. You should follow your heart. You should follow your he who. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? I don't know why that specific part of Kingdom Hearts 1 is like what I remember the most. Tarzan going, he, hoo, 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 ha. friends here. How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of King Deshred? Or are you the god himself? He who 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 ha not Clayton. That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the academia and its sages and to correct their mistakes. Gamers. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. <laughs> I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Yeah, I love how that world ended with, like, the lesson being, Oh, your friends are always in your heart, and Sora's like, oh, okay. Fuck. Please tell me, what can I do for you? <clears throat> How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. Always in my heart? Even when I pee? Good comment, Leafy. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. Sora does have a time for... God. Yeah, from... From, uh... Kingdom Hearts 1... To Chain of Memories... To KH2... However, there's something that's been really bothering me. Boy goes through a lot. ...that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the sages are still quite wary of him. To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? I'm just realizing now, the Chain of Memories really is just girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep. Because Nominee's the girl boss. 
and Sora's getting gaslit the entire time, and Organization 13's there to gatekeep. It just works. It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. You haven't played any KH, but you know all the cringy lines. Honestly, they're fantastic games, up to a point. Um, just play until Kingdom Hearts 2, and then, and then you can, you can stop there. There's nothing else afterwards. One thing, though. I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. What do I think of Dream Drop Distance? <sighs> I think that it could have used... Um, I think the worlds were cool. I think it had some of the more interesting worlds in the series. Um... It was very cool to have the Twelwee cast show up in Traverse Town. Uh, the music in that game. There's some really good songs in in uh, in DDD. Um, the combat. I really wish it was good, but uh, Balloon completely like the spell Balloon or Balloonra or Balloonga. Those spells completely invalidate the entire game. Like, you don't have to play the game anymore as soon as you get Balloon. It's It does an insane amount of damage. It's homing. It's it's broken. And you can have multiple of them in your command deck. There's no reason not to use Balloon and just spam that shit and you win every fucking fight. And Sora is also an idiot in DDD. He's usually pretty dumb, but I feel like they dialed it up to 11 in DDD. Uh, Riku was great, though. Riku was the MVP of that game. Was Twelwee a delight? Was it a Twelwee delightful experience? Yes. Twelwee is a fantastic game. Everybody should play it. Um. Yeah, and like the story, that's when they jumped off the deep end. I think. Um, I think once they introduced time travel and clones and all that shit. Yeah, that's when things started to get a bit silly. We're talking about Kingdom Hearts. And I'm going to be streaming, honestly, maybe maybe after this conversation. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll call it, because it is starting to get a bit late for me. Um, let me I do have see. stuff I need to do soon. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. I wouldn't be against streaming all of Kingdom Hearts for you guys. Um, what's my all-time favorite game? Oh god, there's so many. It's like 5-ish where I am right now, but like I I have plans that I need to do. Wait, just give me one second, chat, I'm gonna turn on my light. There we go. Our room is getting really dark. And that's bad for your eyes. Play Dark Tide? I do need to play Dark Tide, honestly. I've been seeing all the updates it's been getting, and I really want to play. Will I only play Star Rail if I voice someone? Yes. Quickly, Ben, summarize the entire plot of Kingdom Hearts. Okay. So, uh, a long, long time ago, there were Keyblades of Light and Darkness... Um, and there was a great war that happened uh, that led to the formation of the Keyblade, which is spelt with, like, a funny-looking X. Um, this Keyblade was supposed to unlock uh, Kingdom Hearts, which is the uh, source of all hearts. Um, but then some bullshit happened, uh, and then the Great Keyblade War basically just ended as a mess. Uh, everybody died. Um... Then there were three Keyblade wielders uh, that were being trained by a dude called Ericus. Um, one of them was basically... Uh, he got split in half by some asshole called Xehanort. Um, he split uh, this kid, uh, Ventus, into light and dark, and his dark was called Vanitas. Um... 
and then he ditched Ventus uh, at Ericus's house, and then Ericus is like, "Cool, another kid for me to train." So he trained these three dudes. Um, some bullshit happened. One of them, Aqua, the only girl of the group, got promoted to master because she's the best, even though she's kind of boring in in Birth by Sleep. Um, she is the most interesting character, though. Uh, Terra was the other guy. He didn't get mastery because he was an asshole. Um, and also he's dumb. Um, look, I, I, I don't want to have to do Aqua like that, but she, like, she doesn't do much in, in Birth by Sleep until the very end. She just follows after Vent, uh, after Ventus and Terra and is like, oh, she, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say anything more. Anyway, some stuff happens and then Sora comes in and, uh, he, uh, he does a lot of nonsense. Yeah, I know it's going to take four hours. That's the that's the joke. The Academia entrance. Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be Something, something, friendship. Uh, the door to light. Um, the door to darkness. I'm only suggesting Hearts. this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Is it true that the lore of KH is FNAF heavy level? <laughs> have we really have we really reached that point where um where FNAF lore is comparable to KH? Look, look, look. Wait, I need to find I need to find hang on, I need to find an image for you guys. There's a specific image that I fucking love. Uh, from Tumblr. Just give me one second. Oh my god, this is like a tiny, puny version of it. Okay, I found it. Just give me one second. I need to, I need to, um... I need to uh, get a specific, hang on, display capture. Let's do image. Uh -huh. We'll do this and then the image file will be this. Right. It's this one. Kingdom Hearts is great because these are all different people. These are all different characters. And these are all the same person. This is all the same guy. But it gets better. <laughs> My very favorite. These are all the same character. But these are all different characters. <laughs> it's literally the same four dudes, but these guys are the same. These guys are completely different people. And that's why Kingdom Hearts is so fucking good. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. So these are all Riku. This is, um, this is Riku, this is Riku Replica, this is Ansem Seeker of Darkness, and I think this is, um, like, Shadow Riku or something, I don't know. But it's, it's true. It's, it's fucking... This is what happens when you have clones and time travel in your, in your video game at the same time. It's literally the same exact designs for both. Yeah, that's... I'm having a stroke is is how most people would respond. Trust me, when you play the games, it makes perfect sense. Like, this shit makes 100% sense. But if you don't have any context, it's complete insanity. 
that's that's why I play Kingdom Hearts now because I want to see just how insane it gets. Because there's a point where like you're playing it and it's like, yeah, Disney mixed with Square Enix and the gameplay is really fun. Yeah, rock on. But now I play it for like, oh my god, the story is ludicrous. Yeah, even with context, it's a little like the way the time travel works in Kingdom Hearts is kind of insane. All right, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? If I do play Kingdom Hearts, I would probably, like, you know, hardest difficulty, doing as much of the extra fights as I can, all of that stuff. Oh wait, I need to be right back. There's something, uh, some mail just got dropped off and I need to go pick that up. So give me one second, guys. I'm back. I see you guys have been busy while I was gone. You good? You're it, all right? Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, where was I? Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, maybe we'll do a stream. Who knows? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon. That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Get yourself a new god. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side. The Traveler's execution was ingenious. He's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? Mm -mm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Let's pray to the truth. Hey, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Thank you for that soup time. Alright, I think this is where uh, I'm going to leave it for today. What was that thing that you guys wanted me to react to? I guess I could just do that real quick. Cave bursts? I mean, sure. We could do that. Um... How do I? I don't know how to. I, I need to like find some way to add a window.
Um, yeah. Uh, how do I? How do I do this? How do I? How do I? How do I bring in? Could could someone link the uh, the video? I guess I could just YouTube it. What's it called? Kave Genshin bursts, but it's all Kave. I see it. <laughs> if only because I'm very curious to know uh, what how people. I'm always I'm always eager to hear sound alikes. Like I want to know what people, how people uh, interpret my. The way I do things. Um. Let's see. Uh. Uh. OBS. Capture small pop screen. Just give me one second, guys. Just give me one second. I'm just getting this set up because <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm still learning how to be a streamer, okay? Chris Scott? Chajizuma, thank you so much for the seven biddies. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's do that. And then we will do... Uh, let's see here. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, no, that's not how that works. Dang it! Okay. Um... What if I do this? There we go. All right. Welcome. Hey, YouTube. Welcome to my live reaction of... Let's just fucking watch the video. <laughs> the depths beckon. <laughs> Cry louder. By ordinance divine. Who wants some of this? Let's nip that in the butt. You can <laughs> run, but you can't hide. Embrace the ice. I will have order. Sight definitely clear. Dance with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the fireworks. Remember, health comes first. Covenant of the deep. Flood of frost. Time to go. Me, 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 me. That's what you sound like. Time to shine. <laughs> Ta-da. Lay waste to the wicked. Ha! Did you see that? Don't get frostbite. <laughs> Look at you. Booze hound. Hmm. That was good. That was good. Good job to 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 uh to the artiste behind that. He looked honestly. Kave looked really good doing a lot of those. Um, what was the one that was like the big spear? Was that a? Let me see. Like the ice spear. That was child. Yeah. But you can't. That looked good. He looked good doing it. The Ahaitham one was funny. Yeah, good job. Good job, uh, it's me, Terra. It, I was entertained. I was entertained. Me, 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 me. That's you. That's how you sound. Um, anyway, thank God it was an AI. Boy, howdy. <laughs> if that is ever the truth. That's, um, that's something that we're not going to be able to say, <laughs> uh, as often as we want to with the coming, uh, coming, coming years and such. Anyway, thank you again, everybody, for stopping by. 
Um, where do we, where should we raid? Let's, let's figure that out. Um, who, do, where, where do I send you guys to? Oh, June streaming. Yeah, well, we'll let's, let's uh, raid June. June's the best. Is it two underscores or one for June? It is two, okay. Let's go raid June Yoon, everybody! Um, what's the raid message? Uh, the usual. Uh, so it'll be uh, Ben Bev Ook, uh, Ben Raid, Ben Bev Ook. It'll be, it'll be this. Anyway, thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. This was always a delight. Uh, next stream might be happening, I would say, maybe on the weekend. Uh, June is, um, another voice actor. He's this cool older dude, and he loves Genshin, and he's just super sweet, super lovable. He's a great guy, so I want, I want you guys to give him some love. Um, I'll see you guys, uh, maybe on the weekend. Have a happy Thanksgiving for everybody that's celebrating it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. You behave yourselves. Have a good time. I'll give you all big kisses. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, all right, let's, let's go, let's go raging.